Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Watch TV on Beer. I'm your host, Bobby Campbell, and you guys are going to be joining me on my journey through the world of craft beer. And on today's episode, we're going to be doing one of my favorite seasonal IPAs. It's going to be Drake's Aroma Coma. <laughs> Yes, everybody, that's right. It is the season again for Drake's Aroma Coma. I love summer because this beer is fucking incredible. It absolutely is. I'm so excited. When I saw it at BevMo, my mouth dropped, my eyes lit up. I, get, I just get excited about beer. I don't know about you guys, but I just my mind just goes somewhere else. It's fantastic. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Oh, I'm sorry, man. It lives up to the name. It is absolutely an aroma coma. It is fantastic. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I always end up getting my nose right into the glass, and I always end up with a little bit of head on the tip of my nose. But, hey, it happens. Oh, big, sweet citrus, candied citrus, candied orange. That's got to be coming from the El Dorado on this. Oh, you get a little bit of spiciness from rye in there. I love it anytime they put rye in an IPA. It should actually be a fucking law that rye has to go in IPA. It just, the, the spiciness, the pepperiness of it just always complements any kind of hops that, are, that ever go in an IPA to me. And it just, it just makes it that much better, you know? It's, it's like making that uh, new Dodge Challenger or whatever it is, the one with the ridiculous horsepower that's just too much for anybody to own on the street. So, yeah. Oh, man, and a little bit of pine in there as well. A little bit of pine to finish it off. That is fantastic. There's just so much happening in this beer. I love it. This is my favorite aromatic IPA. Uh, it just it smells better than, than anything else that I've, that I've ever come across. Uh, mind you, I haven't tried every beer in the world, but I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I will. I'll try. I will try at least. Let's see how it tastes. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just the same. It's just the same as the aroma. You get that great candied citrus in there. You get a little bit of grapefruit peel. It's not overwhelming, thankfully. I do have experience with this, so this isn't going to be one of those videos where I go to the end and I say, oh, the grapefruit was too much, and I say, you know, it was light at first. Well, that's because sometimes it starts to grow. I know for a fact it will not grow on this. That nice kick of rye in there. Ah, what did I say? Sweet citrus, rye, pine. Uh, not really a caramel malt backbone. It's more like cereal, oaty, kind of grainy uh, malt backbone to it, which is really nice. It's one thing I like about Stone's IPAs. It has a very similar uh, backbone to it as far as uh, malt is concerned. Oh, man. Yeah, it is so smooth. That is so smooth, guys. I really do love this. I love the color on it, too. Like, rarely do I see an IPA that has this nice kind of golden copper to it. It's just, it is a golden shower of hop aroma, and I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't stop drinking this. I love this beer. Guys, time for the overall on this one. This is getting a 10. This is a fantastic IPA. It does have a lot of bitterness in it, but it does go away very quickly. It has a nice, smooth, easy finish. There is grapefruit peel in there, but it's not overwhelming. You get a little bit of candy, a uh, little bit of candied orange in there as well, which is just fantastic. I mean, it's just, it's great. It, I've tried some other beers from Drake's and was not even nearly as impressed as I was with those as I am with this. So it, this was definitely like the, the precipice of uh of drake's lineup i have to tell you this is the best one and i hate to start out with this but like i said i saw it in bevmo and i just absolutely had to do it so you guys have to go out and pick up this beer if you're a fan of ipas i'm gonna tell you this is 75 ibu so it is going to be a little more bitter than what some of you guys are used to as far as ibus um as far as the bitterness goes uh, some ipas range around 50 ibu and usually they're a little more malt forward you get a little bit of sweetness out of them and it's not bitter 
This is really bitter, so you do want to be kind of a hophead or a little bit of a seasoned uh, IPA drinker if you if you want to go out and try this beer. But if you're not, go in go in on a bottle with a friend, and the two of you share the bottle. And you know, if you don't like it, hey, you're out three dollars. It's six ninety nine. It's six ninety nine, so you're out like about three fifty something like that. Hey, no big deal. Three fifty for a beer for a new experience. Just go out and try it. Just go out and try it. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Watch TV on Beer. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I made a Facebook. Yay! Watch TV on Beer has a Facebook. So I am going to put the link in the description below. So if you guys want to join me there on Facebook, as soon as I get more pictures up on Instagram, because I think I have like two pictures up there right now, and that's just not interesting. Nobody's going to want to look at that. Nobody. But do have a Facebook. It will be in the description below. I want you guys to join me there and we can build a beer community together and you guys can show me what you're drinking and maybe make some suggestions to me because I am totally open to try anything. Any crazy beer that you can come up with that maybe you saw on the shelf and you wanted to try and maybe we're like, you know what, maybe next time. Suggest it to me, I'll do it on the show. And then the next time you're in the store, you can go ahead and say, hey, that guy said that beer was fucking terrible and now I'm not gonna buy it. Or I could say that it was really good and then you buy it. You know, hey, whatever. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Take care and never be afraid to try something new. Cheers.